children and namaste yes are you all today ready for the lesson so let us all start with the prayer so join your hands and close your eyes या कुंदेन्दु तुषार हार धवला या शुभ्र वस्त्रामृता या वीणा वर दंड मंडित करा या श्वेत पद्मासना या ब्रह्मांच्युत शंकर प्रभुति भेळ देवै सदा वंदिता सामां पातु सरस्वती भगवती निशेष जाड्या पहा गुरुर ब्रह्मा गुरुर विष्णू गुरुर देवो महेश्वर गुरु साक्षात पर ब्रह्म तस्मै श्री गुरवे नम एव्हरी वन फुल युअर हॅन्ड नाव आय एम रेडी फॉर द लेसन डिअर चिल्ड्रन टुडे we have chinky with us i know you all like soft toys so this is chinky actually she had promised me that she is going to help me in the gardening activity but i don't think she is looking very interesting today what is it chinky are you fine no auntie are why are you looking so dull auntie I did not eat my food. Ha, ah, that is the reason why you did not eat your food. It was not my favorite food. Oh ho 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 ho. Are you all waiting for your favorite food only to be cooked every day? That is not possible, my dear. You are supposed to eat whatever food is made at home. That's why you are looking tired and dull today. Now you sit here and listen the importance of food dear children do you know the same way whatever your mother is cooking food you must not be eating because you all want your favorite food only this is not correct whatever food is prepared at home you are supposed to eat that all because that is healthy for you and that's why i have decided because you all are at home and then telling your mama to make this food that food you have become very choosy nowadays it is not correct mama will make your favorite food but not always every day dal chawal roti sabzi is very important okay so today i will tell you about our basic need food our need for food dear children so remember everyone you all are supposed to understand why do we need food our need for food so let's be ready for that you should understand when we eat food what happens when we eat food it gets digested and after digestion we get strength to work now you may feel the teacher i am not walking anymore i am sitting like this or i am sleeping but when you are doing that don't forget dear children your internal organs are working and for that working also you need energy so if you need energy you are supposed to eat proper food when you eat food your body will function properly you get energy to work and remember what else food does remember when you were babies you must have seen the photograph when you were very small that time you were drinking only your mother's milk because you were not having teeth now that time you were growing due to the milk which is given by you now after that you started crawling and eating kimchi and soft food soft chapatis crushed right or a dal rice which is mixed properly then after that you grew a little more after that you started eating properly all the foods and then you became choosy correct but that should not happen because for your growth you need food that's all for only these things do you need food no 
there is one more thing which happens in our everyday life when you run when you walk sometimes you fall even what happens do you know dear children uh, when you are falling down you get bruises you get cut sometimes right you get wound on your knees and then what happens your skin gets gadbad over there hai na due to that bruise have you seen that after few days your skin becomes normal how does it become normal it is again due to the food my dear children whatever food you eat from that all the nutrients are taken by our body and from those nutrients you get that energy to repair all whatever gadbad is going on in our body that is called as to repair wear and tear of the body see you must have understood from the so many years you must have fallen sick sometimes some illnesses some diseases must have you, you must have suffered from the diseases what happens you know in those times you feel very weak then what your mama does she gives you proper healthy food to eat and when you eat that food your repair system works very nicely and you become all right so understand what happens with the food children when we eat proper food these four things you should remember my dear children see when you eat food your body starts functioning properly you grow okay the food is used to work okay when you get the energy to work due to the food and also remember the it to repair the wear and tear of the body these all four things are very important my dear children for functioning of our body so if food you will eat properly then only it is possible for all of you okay to become energetic right happy healthy and if you won't eat enough food what happens like chinky happens correct you feel tired right so what happens understand this also you don't feel good yaar you always feel hungry bhook hamesha lagi rehti hai when you don't eat enough food you feel hungry you feel tired correct then what happens you feel fatigued what do you mean by fatigued not only physically mentally also you cannot feel proper that's why your parents your teachers always tell you even if it is morning school afternoon school they tell you to eat food properly because when you eat proper food your mind and body works nicely and when you are coming to school you are coming to learn something correct so your brain should work properly so to work your body properly you need food and otherwise you will feel fatigued and your vigor is lost kuch charm rehta na khushi rehti na fir aap aise rahoge acha lagta hai you should be always happy and healthy okay so that is the reason why always we tell you to eat good food okay now i want to ask you simple question whatever we eat we means human beings eat the same way dog eats cat eats bird eats okay then other insects also eat the same food and what about wild animal do they eat the same food no they all also need food but their food is different from where do they get their food they get food from the nature they all can move from one place to another correct so they go in search of the food in nature and whatever they find for them stable they eat so let us find out what are their habits of eating because they cannot make their food they search in the nature some animals eat flesh of other animals then some animals eat grass leaves correct at least pet animals and this domestic animals you must have observed even the birds you can observe correct now let us check what are their foods now to make it easy i have made in one chart 
so that it will be easy for you okay let us start with uh, which animals eat grass and leaves cattle cattle means what cows buffaloes correct so what do they eat you must have seen no they are made to eat grass then uh, dry grass also and have you seen any time some special food is also offered to them to the cattle special specially ha huh? so which is that uh, generally oil cakes are made by pressing the seeds after taking out the oil from ground nut sesame sesame is still so ground nut sesame and uh, even cotton seed sarki man to bagha apan so from these some seeds when oil is taken out that a remaining part fibrous part is pressed and they are formed into oil cakes so these oil cakes are also used and along with that these oil cakes are mixed with jaggery means gold and then grains and some water is added and it is fermented it is kept for few days for a automatic process and that is called as amboned this ambon ambon oil cakes are also used for feeding cattle okay then you all must have seen the horses also eating grass and leaves along with that sometimes soaked herbara is also horses favorite food then you all must have seen goats and sheep and deer yes these animals also eat grass and leaves and what about some of the wild animals have you seen any time nilgai deer bison bison means uh, that is a wild bull okay so along with this have you seen giraffe elephant they are also eating grass and leaves okay now let us come to some other uh, animals especially wild animals they are eating flesh of the other animals means mass then they kill the animals they eat the flesh of those okay so who are specially eating lion tiger leopards they eat the flesh of the other animals but do you know foxes also eat but most of the times crow vulture foxes they eat the flesh of the dead animals which are already dead and they go there and they eat the flesh of those dead animals they don't go for killing them the ready made dead animals they take to eat their flesh but remember dear children because of these in the jungle or in the uh, other forest wherever animals are dying there they the forest is automatically cleaned because of these animals which are eating the flesh of dead animals okay now what about birds have you seen any time what birds eat if you have not seen go on observing from your window you have got lot of time nowadays to be at home okay so you can stand in your window and observe what birds are eating see children some birds eat uh, grains most of the birds eat grains you also must be giving grains for them to eat correct not only that have you seen any time a uh, cock hen okay they eat they also eat grains uh, they eat worms also then are pet bird your favorite bird parrot what does it eat fruit correct most of the birds eat fruits also which are always present on the trees correct and remember have you i, I will show you one uh, video if you like that one parrot was literally drinking the water coconut water from that uh, coconut which was hanging on the tree coconut tree so whatever is available in the nature they try to have okay now uh, let us talk about some animals very small animals are called as insects remember so let us talk about mosquito and when you scratch your head which small insect is there inside your hair juway wow that is called as lice so this lice then mosquito and bed bug have you heard jo beds mein rehte hain khatmal kehte hain unko so 
these types of insects what do they eat they suck the blood from our body and one more name is there that is called as ticks these ticks are present on the body of the uh, dog or cattle okay cows buffaloes even deer so these ticks are again small insects which are present on their body and they suck the blood from such animals so what is their food this blood but remember ah uh, some all mosquitoes are not sucking our blood some mosquitoes are sucking the sap that is the juice of the plants they don't suck our blood so mosquitoes are also various types some of them are sucking our blood but most of them are sucking the sap that is the juice from the plants now you all must have seen the butterflies even honey bees what do they do they suck the nectar that is the juice from the pink juice from the flowers and what about your favorite animals dog cat what do they eat come on what do they eat yes you are providing them bhakri chapati you are giving milk to the cat but do you know what is their favorite food cat to like to catch mice and and their favorite food is meat and fish also okay so like all different different animals are eating different types of food and wherever one side one area's food is finished they go to some other place and again search for the food in nature okay but what about the plants they cannot move from one place to another so what do they eat? do they eat? do they go out for cooking and preparing the food and getting the food no do you know one thing plants are the only living beings on this whole earth which can make their own food how are they getting how are they cooking how are they preparing their own food do they use any masala spices no what do they need let us understand okay observe this figure properly okay and just think what do they need for cooking their food do you know simple things they need from the environment itself they need sunlight from the sun so they are cooking their food in the day time only because they need sunlight okay so plants need sunlight from the sun and air from the surrounding from that air they are using carbon dioxide for cooking their food my dear children now not only that they absorb water from the ground through the roots we all know that already now this water from the ground also contains various nutrients means important substances which they need for their growth so water air and sunlight these three things are used and what is their kitchen their kitchen is their leaf okay so in the leaf the green leaf specially they have one substance called as chlorophyll so with the help of that chlorophyll and sunlight air and water they make their own food their food is glucose okay now as they need light light is nothing but the photo and preparing means synthesis so this whole process of making the food by the plants is called as photosynthesis okay my dear children so remember only plants in the solar can make their own food and we all other living beings are dependent on the plants for their food okay all human beings then all other animals we are eating grains means also what they are coming from the crop that is the plants okay so we are all dependent on the plants for the food now you must have understood the importance of the farmers dear children 
farmers take lot of efforts to grow the crop and to take care of the crops because what happens you know whenever farmers are growing the crops once their crops are ready to harvest means for cutting that time the grains are ready correct the corn ear of the corn is fully developed with the grains what happens that time at that time the small uh, different types of ants and insects and they try to attack that time you all must have seen that farmers spray insecticide pesticide on those crops that's all no though they have to take care of other animals also who eat the grains and these plants so for them they are making one big fence kumpan banavdat hai na for due to which other animals cannot enter in their farms but that is also not enough all birds are also ready to attack the farms such times because most of the birds eat grains no so when they can see from upper side are this farm is ready with the grains so they also try to attack the farm with the grains but that is the reason why farmers are putting one structure in their farm do you know what is it called socho 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 that is not real person but it looks like the real thing and it is used to scare scare the birds and that's why it is called what is it called scarecrow you are right so can you see the picture here it is not the real person who is standing in the farms but they can use the matka the pot other pot and they make face on that okay and what do they do they just make the uh, sticks horizontal and standing and they try to put one kurta on that for example and so that the birds feel that somebody is standing there for the protection of the crop so the scarecrows are used and do you know many farmers in the day time what they try to do is they use the slingshots you all must have seen the gulail you must have used also and if not just check it i will be showing you the video of that even some pictures in the ppt from which you will understand what do they use they have the long rope like thing and they put the stone inside that and then they swirl that and throw that stone so wherever the birds are sitting on the crop due to that stone they all fly away okay so in these ways farmers are protecting their crops okay now let us find out some interesting videos where you will see uh, the baby is eating what happens to the food when we eat how the plants make food so for that reason i will share my screen with you all to make you understand more everyone is ready for the same yes my dear children we will understand from this how different animals are eating different foods because we cannot go to jungle right to we cannot go to jungle for watching how the wild animals are eating their food okay so let us so let us start with this video okay see here in this in this the uh, the child is eating food and mother is feeding you all must have understood that this food gives us strength now what happens to the food when we eat from the mouth when we food eat the food it goes to the food pipe and it comes to the stomach in the stomach all the gastric juices are waiting and our food starts digesting there then it goes to the small intestine here the juices from the pancreas liver they all come and fully the food uh, digest in the stomach and it comes to the small intestine in the small intestine the correct nutrients the good good nutrients which are present in the food are absorbed 
where they are absorbed they are absorbed in the blood and from the blood they are given to all parts of the body this journey is long my dear children ha huh? from the small intestine the food goes to the large intestine when it comes to the large intestine the water from that is absorbed and whatever unwanted part is present it is thrown out of our body correct this way our food's journey goes on inside our body now how plants make their own food i told you my dear children that when plants make their food they need sunlight they need carbon dioxide from the air and water from the roots you can observe how it is going inside the plant and plants make their food now in this video you just observe how the goats are eating the leaves right that is their food now observe the lion the king of the jungle see lion is having a big lump of that flesh of the animal which lion must have killed and how it is enjoying that flesh because it is their food oh ho observe this wood packer what does it do see it's going on picking many times on the bark of the tree because that bark of the tree contains many small insects worms and this woodpecker is eating that oh ho observe this lizard how is lizard how it is going to attack that mosquito which is falling there it is just taking its aim and coming near the mosquito and how it has taken that bite of the mosquito now what do caterpillar eat see caterpillar also nibble the leaves observe this video how it is going ahead while eating that leaf see how nice it is nibbling the leaf and this video is also going to show us yes butterfly sitting on the flower and sucking the nectar from the flower now our lovely sparrow how it is pecking the green see how it is eating right now observe the pigeons they are also eating the grain you are also supposed to observe from your windows how birds eat now see here is the beautiful video of the uh, crows eating dead mice and at the same time the eagle came there so that eagle also eats dead mice and again the crow came and it is taking out the flesh from that dead mouse okay now who is there is next oh fox is eating the dead animal at that time who came vulture came and when vulture watched that fox is eating that animal it made the fox run and then full family of vultures came there to eat the flesh of that dead animal enjoying the video here are our cock and hen pair which are picking the grain and these are the cattle see cows buffaloes eat green grass leaves dry grass also and these are all the things which i told you in the beginning which are used to make their oil cakes and am bone okay this cattle eat and this food is very important for them because cattle give us milk now your favorite animal elephant this is the picture of this scare 
micro my dear children which is used by the farmers to scare and protect their crop this is small video my dear children of the slingshot to give you proper idea how the slingshot is used to protect their crop see the stone is taken in that and it is now being thrown so stone goes there where the birds are sitting and enjoying the crop okay now after this we have one more video of other type of slingshot which i told you it is sort of a rope and one side the stone is put inside and then it is of ebs how nice delicacies and variety of food we cook at home right now for what do we need our all all you all know that all the living things need food for the proper functioning of the body for the growth would help our body to grow okay to grow in weight height okay then would helps to repair wear and tear of the body as i have told you when we fall ill or when we fall down and get wounds or some fractures happen or any other ailment happens to our body it gets cured and uh, we become fit and fine again due to the nutrients which we get from the food now food gives us strength to work if we are studying running exercising even all the elderly people also if they are walking cooking everything we get energy from this food we eat and if we want to eat food properly what happens we don't feel to work at all we don't feel to study we don't feel to play we feel fatigued correct that means what our vigor is lost we don't feel like doing anything our brain also doesn't work properly that is why your parents and your teachers are always telling you to eat food so that you can learn and understand the things fast as i told you the entire living world depends on the food prepared by the plants okay animals are eating different types of food they search for the ready food which is present in the nature right only plants are making their food animals are not making they are searching for the ready food and they are going from one place to another in search of food okay and different animals eat different food such as flesh grass leaves blood insects sap nectar grains observe these animals cockroaches you all must have observed at night time they come out and whatever food things are present particles are present uh, are present outside in the kitchen they eat then bed bug picture is shown then ants then mosquito sucking the sap from the plant and this picture is of the lice that means i told you lice are present in our hair okay so they also suck the blood then see the picture of pigeons eating grains deer eating grass and your favorite elephant also is eating grass here and tiger okay eating flesh now but the plants prepare their own food with the help of sunlight air and water correct and that is why i told you the farmers work hard and protect the crop with the help of such slingshots or scare crows and putting fence and spring insecticides and all and they work hard remember dear children we cannot survive for long days without food so respect your food respect for food is a respect for life So never waste your food, dear children. Okay. Thanks for observing all the videos and PPT. And now let us come back. Yes. Ah. Now let us come to the fourth option. Let us find out what is it. Lizard, lice, bed bug, and tick. So here also find out the connection. Lice, bed bug, and tick. they suck the blood maybe from the human beings or from the animals and lizard what does it do you saw the video just now so it is different so in this fourth one which is 
or lizard. Okay, so I will show you the answers. Okay, let us tackle so that you can understand the answers. In the first thing, deer was odd. In the second question, tiger was odd. In the third, flesh. And in the fourth, as you said, lizard is odd. Okay, just check your answers. Correct. Done. Now let us go ahead for your homework. Remember, children, whenever any lesson is taught to you, you are supposed to read that lesson from the textbook thoroughly. Okay? And then you like to draw and color always. So draw and color the plants making their own food. This picture is already there in your textbook. This picture you all are supposed to draw. Okay, my dear children. And one activity which is very important. You should know why we all are learning these all lessons. Okay. So what is your activity? You are supposed to sit with your family members. You are supposed to discuss the different ways and note down how you can avoid the wastage of food. Dear children, you all must be knowing there are many children and people in our country who don't get food properly to eat. So we should not waste our food anytime. So dear children, remember, respect for food is a respect for life. So always eat healthy food, remain fit and fine and healthy. So take care of yourself.